Hawkins here with Chicken Hawk Farmstead. We're here with Mayo Buffy Hawkins. Today we're going to do a quick little take look at this uh, floor sweeper. Uh, the main reason we got this is we got a goat pen and somebody, this guy, left a bucket of you nails out there when I was working and they went crazy on it. And so now I got you nails all over my goat area, so I can't be driving the tractor in there. This thing was around, I think it was right at 50 bucks. So I figure 50 bucks is a lot cheaper than a tractor tire or more. So we got this. And plus, uh, we've been doing work on the back roof. We've already went over it with the small one uh, floor sweeper. You know, like the one that's like got wheels on it like this. Uh, this is supposed to be a lot bigger and it actually has the handle release. So uh, I think I'm going to put it in a kiddie pool and pull that handle is the idea there to get that. Uh, yeah, because if not, you know, you're just releasing it and you got to sweep it up still or something. But anyways, let's check it out real quick and uh, yeah, I'll show you who's putting who we're putting to work doing this. All right, so take it around the driveway. I don't know how many times we went over the driveway already, but roll pretty good. Uh, it took me probably five minutes to put that thing together. Yeah, there's a bolt on each wheel, and then uh, the handle had to be put on. But that was it. So I'm gonna have her go around the backyard. And you can, I'd say you can push or pull. And we even thought about hooking up to her power wheel. And just kind of having her drive around her power wheel and pull it along. And get the, any of this stuff cleaned up out of the yard. Because we are doing a lot of this metal roofing. We had to replace that roof again because we had some more wind storms. So back here, like I said, we went over four or five times. But uh, I think there's probably still more out. And this thing says it's got a 50-pound pull. And then to do a release, all you do is grab this here. Pull up on it. It pulls the magnet off the bottom. And then anything it got, look, right there. It doesn't pick that up. Hmm. So. It looks like a stick. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Is that a rusty Old piece nail? of metal. i tell you what that is right there. That's a pop tire. Oh. That would definitely pop a tire. Good so. I picked that up. Yep. So this is going to be something that I think we're just going to make into a regular routine of coming out and then magnetically sweeping the yard. What do you think? Yeah. All right. She's going to get to it. We'll see what all we can find. Got from this. The release. The, I don't think the release works. Oh, look at this. Oh, I think that's. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Well, there should be a lot of washers. Yeah, I'm not picking up all those washers. Oh. Did they come off? I think they fell off. We didn't find much. All right. Well, we found this, and that was a a minute. So, I don't know what this little thing is here. We found a washer. But that's definitely another little sharp thing to pop a tire or hurt somebody. Yeah, that's a good thing we got that out. Yeah, that could, cut, that could stab somebody in the foot. That could also um, pop your tractor wheel. And that tractor wheels are really expensive. Yeah, they are. So, lucky since we got that out. All right, Look so we're going to keep on this. And uh, she's going to do this for eight hours a day for the next uh, five days. No! <laughs> and we'll see what all we get. All right, but we'll let you know so far. Uh, quick and easy to assemble out of the box. I mean, it's a magnet and uh, a little pool thing. So it's hard to go wrong, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, but that's it for now. So like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one. Bye. Three, two, go.